Oh, welcome back. Hello, it's me. Hello, it's also me still. Both of us are here, Colin and Grace. Awesome. We didn't practice that. Um, <laughs> it was a few days ago when we last played an episode of this, or last recorded, I guess, an episode of this, mm -hmm. and I could not remember what I was doing. So we went back and watched the episode, you know, jog my memory and such, and I still have no idea what I was doing. Well, so okay. before you leave that room, mm -hmm, speaking mm -hmm, endlessly mm -hmm. and wandering, <laughs> search around if there's anything you can Chess? interact with. Big dog. Mm. Get a big dog. Yeah, Satisfaction. Go big. Oh, go like big dog. Them. Yes. Go. This is a hundred years in the future, everyone. Mm. Still eating giant hot dogs. No better food has been developed in a century. November 2137, 100, 115 mm. years in the future. That took me way too long Oop. to do that math. I can't read anything on this calendar. Can I zoom in? Nope, I have no I have no controls as a first person okay. player. This looks like a GTA porno mag. All of the I was gonna say all the graphics do look like GTA <laughs> cover art. Uh here, I'll open this locker. Oh, hold to hide. Jesus Christ. That was really aggressive. Such vigor. <laughs> He's hiding the shit out of that locker. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Can I press A to stop hiding? Who am I hiding from? I mean <laughs> I know in general in this game who I'm hiding from. Nah. We don't know anything. Could it be All I think right now is that there's like some people still alive and they're being really panicky. Yeah, they were really jumpy. Why so jumpy? Okay, so we want to turn on something to this room, maybe. I don't know. These things don't look like they're working. See, look, look at that fuse just psh, psh, sparking everywhere. I ain't going to work. That ain't working. That's okay. the way you do it. I need a maintenance jack. Maybe. Play your guitar on the MTV. Mm. Um. E. Slim, slim, slim. Oh, it's upside down. Hold on. I just got to... Mates. Wait, Walt. Wait. Waltz <laughs> let let it led to us. Wait. I cannot read this. Lied to us. Wait. Wait. Lied to us. Who? Wait. 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 I don't know that guy. Well. He's leaking. Ooh. Gotta get a plumber in here. Stay it. Um. Okay. This room is. That's, this is a story building room. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. About the, the lies. Mm -hmm. Let's go through this door. It's got a green button. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about this game and genre oh, while I was in the, a body. <gasps> a dead body. A corpse. Is it? it oh, is that a maintenance indeed. jack? That's Just maintenance guy. Kick it to me. Is that maintenance jack? <laughs> oh, Not poor Jack. Very OSHA friendly shoes, but. Well, he slipped and died in his own blood, see? Like. Gotta wear those non slip soles. Um, Atari? Ooh, and a calculator. This game is dating itself. Technologies. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> imagine a calculator that fits in the palm of your hand. 115 years in the future, we'll have that technology, along with a boombox, or whatever Maybe. that is. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, can't ask. Hello? Is this a to help me shoot? get to maintenance check? I guess so. Take your time. Here we go. Climbing into the vents. <clears throat> Like any good action star, climbing up the ladder. Anyway, I was having a shower thought about Alien and how like this was like a really scary game, or just, I mean movie. I'm thinking about like the original, the movie back in 19, what did you remember, 80 or something. And um, just thinking like about, I was trying to figure out whether I thought aliens were scary. And... And maybe, Grace, you have some insight in this because you do think aliens are scary. Mm. Pick up the whole maintenance jack. Oh, ah. I see. It's a tool. Let go of it. He's still pretty loose. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's like, you could take my jack over from my cold, dead hands. Yeah, his body, if his body was that loose, his grip should not have been uh -huh. existent. He's, he's, try, he's loose to get out of work, but he didn't really want his tool taken. Is this self-inflicted? That screwdriver is awful suspicious. <gasps> Did you stab yourself in the head, Jack? Just to get out of work. I hear this game audio is coming through to you because I can't hear a thing. 
Oh, maintenance Zach. Oh, fuck the marshals. He wrote the message. Hmm. So now I can do this. Oh, feels like I could have done that with. Oh, I have to use brute force. Come on. Oh, good. A quick time event. That's going to work great in the horror sequences. Um, anyway, I was trying to decide whether aliens were scary, right? Because if you, um, if you put this game not on a spaceship or movie, again, I'm trying to talk about the movie. If you had the same movie, same plot, but they weren't in space, then it would just be a, a monster movie. You know, there's nothing inherently alien about the creature except that it's in space. So we assume it's an alien, but if it wasn't in space, it wouldn't be an alien. Does that make sense? Like, mm. it's just a monster. So it's not scary to you because it's just like a monster? Well, right. So I'm trying to figure out, like, when mo- when aliens have been scary. Mm-hmm. And, um, like, I was scared in the movie Signs. But, sorry, you want me to stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> she just, like, gently touches my leg. Like, okay, I get it. Welcome, Tilly. Who's talking? I don't Interview know. Interview subject? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. This will all become clear, I'm sure, or not. Um, so, like, the movie Signs, I thought was scary because of how much it didn't show. You know, like, like that's one of those great horror tricks where you don't show what's scary and um yeah. and they were really like really alien they were like kind of humanoid but too tall and um oh my gosh you can keep interrupting my stories with this mm. i think they're talking about zach uh-oh he didn't look drunk he looked mutilated Um, anyway, those aliens were like alien, like gray and human shaped and long legs, Bigfoot walk across the alley, you know, like that was really spooky. Is that it? Um, oh, I see. You can go use the maintenance. Right. Now I can open all these doors. To the answer to the universe. Um, uh uh-oh. Cutscene. (gasps) Oh, it's okay. It's a human. Maybe think of The Last of Us for a second. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. That's my Jack. Believe it or not, a There's ship. No ship. Yeah. <laughs> How does anyone get here? That's good news. Her friends are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. Yeah, that was my team. Is it you? That would be my thought. Being pretty gung ho with that gun. Gun ho. What's your name? I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got Okay, separated. well that's gonna <laughs> try and cover up that sound in the background. <laughs> I hope y'all don't hear my cat being sick. What's Oof. What's in it for him? Can I have my hammer back? Thank Yay. you. Working together. Ugh. I don't know. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's strength in numbers. <laughs> Axel. All right, Axel Rose. Let's go do something. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Hmm. Seems harder to hide with two people. Oh, I don't think both of us are making it out of here. 
Oh. Anyway, what's your thoughts? Because you think aliens are scary, but mm-hmm. I'm interested in why. Um, because I believe that he's scary. He's scary. That guy's scary. <laughs> ah. <gasps> More people. Friends. What? Oh my gosh. Funny jokes. Uh, yeah, we do it. Decoys, if nothing else. Yeah, you too. I'm glad you all have each other. Oh, nice. You got that door open? I'm gonna... Okay. Not go with you. Um, I think aliens are scary because I believe that aliens could be, like, legit, and they are totally beyond our comprehension since we don't know anything about anything at all whatsoever. Um, so the reality of, like, space and things that happen out in space make it more frightening to me than monsters, I guess. Hmm. Like folklore monsters and things like that that are made up about our own planet. Yeah. I mean, I guess... I, so it's more scary because even if it is just a monster, it's more possible because there could be a monster on another planet, but there couldn't be on this planet. Is that it? I guess. Just the idea that... Gosh, he's so aggressive. Good grief. Um, Looks like a mean, <laughs> drunk Patrick Stewart. He does. He does. <laughs> um, mm, trains of thought. Think, think, think. What are we talking about? You're talking about why alien monsters are scarier than Earth monsters. Oh. Um, I guess that's just because it's what media wants me to think. Like, I don't know. They could have made aliens like cool and nice and helpful mm-hmm. but they made them very scary yeah so now my imagination's first place to go and i think about otherworldly things is that they are e- uh, evil i guess or <laughs> want to kill us or well, something that's why like this to me the scariest space horror hold i'll be and move Uh-oh. lean <gasps> ah i don't know how to you didn't tell me how to crouch Oh, there's the crouch. I figured it out myself. Thank you. Um, to me, the scariest space movie I've ever seen is Event Horizon. Specifically because there weren't aliens. There was just this like influence that drove the entire crew insane. And they're like, oh, it's demons from hell or whatever. And they made it sort of allegorical. Mm. Um, but doesn't really matter because like you were saying, the potential for like alternate dimensions and who knows what, uh, is too possible because there's so much we don't know. Um, but in terms of like, just like a horror movie or horror story, that one worked better because the enemy was totally unseen and intangible, unbeatable because, you know, it's not a creature. And I guess that's, the rest of my shower thought was um, <laughs> the the direction the genre went. Because the first Alien movie was, I think a lot of people would say, perfect. You know, in terms of building up the tension, ramping up the horror, hinting at the monster, and then, you know, kind of slowly showing what it can do and how you're totally helpless against it. Um, I think we might be entering a high-tension area. Me? No. That's the same shoes as the janitor was wearing. Nice. This is his house. It says to stay close. Um, but then, like, the direction they went with the aliens, it was like alien versus predator, where it's like, oh, okay, now there's another alien, and its whole job is to kill this alien. And that... I think did a lot to mess up the horror of this alien because it's like, well, Predator can take him out. He's not that tough, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, sure, he has corrosive acid blood or whatever, but he bleeds. 
Um, and then you get these, uh, the games like Alien Firestorm Elite, where it just turns into a shooter. You know, like it's not even a survival horror. It's just get with your friends and shoot aliens. And that, I think, really dilutes the scariness of it. Because suddenly it's something that not only can be beaten, but you expect to beat because that's the point of the game. Um, I don't know. I was just I was thinking about the alien story and the the horror genre in, in particular because I think I talked oh. the other day about like horror games are There's often like enough moving in the background that I'm like he's gonna die he's gonna die you're gonna right. die man okay I am really worried that she's gonna turn this Xbox off come on Chai be cool um, but like I'm talking about the problem with horror games in terms of like oh no the scary thing got you now you just have to do it again mm-hmm. um I don't know. It just seems like there's a there's potential for it to go sideways real fast. Mm-hmm. I'm saving my flashlight battery, so sorry if you can't see anything. Neither can I. Mm. I'm limited by the sparks of this vent that's not working. Are you going to open this or what? Quit talking about it. Just do it. I was also wondering why um, why there don't seem to be... I mean, I think horror movies... Your feet. Are, yeah. <laughs> um, horror movies suffer, are suffering currently the same as every other type of movie, which is the new ideas are not that original and everything else is a remake. Um, we just saw a commercial for like a TV show about Chucky. I'm like, wow, I didn't think Chucky was ever scary. Just kicked the doll. But a TV show seems to be the way to make it even less scary. Um, I think he's, but, maybe he's got character development or something. He oh, yeah? He have a lot of chit-chatting. They're only developing him so they can kill him off. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, humans. Uh-oh. I'm yelling timber. The real horror is the respiratory disease they all got. Um, oh, they were just right there. That was very bold of us. It's nice that there's so many save spots. If I could get to it. Here we go. Um, but I was thinking about how, wondering, I guess, whether or not it would work to have like a horror movie like based in the Star Wars universe. You know, like like mm-hmm. take a universe that people like but explore a different direction to it. Kind of like Rogue One did, you know, where they're like, here's a... You know, took the space opera for families about this one really dysfunctional Skywalker clan and totally ignored them and made a, a war movie. Um, like, I wonder if they could make a horror movie in the Star Wars universe. Thoughts? I do have thoughts. I'm having trouble focusing on what's happening in the game and what's happening from your mouth. You're going to go to the door at the end. <laughs> um, We're going to... Oh, okay. I wonder what the horror would be based on. Like, if it was Star Wars specifically, would it be like a war based horror or alien based horror? Because none of the aliens. Um, <laughs> I don't know where the generator is. Are that scary? Um. I don't know. See, that's why I don't get paid a lot of money to come up with stories for Disney Uh because someone else should do it. Yeah. But it seems like you, um, that's not a generator. Don't look at me. It's a good thing they have a lot to talk about because I don't know where I'm going. Um, but you know, they made a xenomorph in the alien universe. They just made something terrifying. Yeah. Clone Wars showed us the Zillow Beast, which is an unbeatable monster. You know, why couldn't they do something like that? You know, just, <laughs> just come up with an alien that doesn't like people. And mm. um, is this a generator? This is a window. Probably not yeah, a window. Go turn around before they see you. Jeez. I don't Jeez. know what I'm doing. I know. Um, I'm done crouching too slow. Uh, turn off the generator. Great. But Turn they're going to come off. check on it. Holy crap. And yeah. that leads them right to me. 
Indeed. Ah. Whoop. Whoop. You just saw nothing. It's dark. They can't see me. Ha ha. Just sneak around. They might turn that thing back no, on. No, you didn't. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. You didn't see anything. Is that the sound of seeing? Ha ha. Look how silly they are. Here we go. Running. Where did my friend go? It doesn't Booze. matter. Booze. Made it. Nice. Where is Axel anyway? Doesn't matter. He's probably eating. Weight. They got him. Dang. More saves. This is really generous with the save spots. Mm. Thanks. This wee. I did exactly what you told me to do. <laughs> it's okay. This is a friend. Axel. Uh. Friend Axel. Uh huh. Release BO4. Ax Ho 24 3. Hmm. Guess we'll go this way. Should actually be farther in that context because we're talking about physical distance, not ideas. Hmm. I have to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things always get lost when the station is closing down. Don't worry about customs either. Sinclair's told his men to turn a blind eye. They'd probably be too busy goofing off or taking backhanders to notice anyway. You get what you pay for, I guess. Bailey. <laughs> Inventory. Aspirins. This game is 115 years in the future. <laughs> Not only <laughs> people still smoke cigarettes and use aspirin for the headaches, but uh, we live in a communist society, really? I mean, not communist, capitalist. <laughs> capitalist society. In space. Space. There are no rules in space. Anyway, Zoe managed to pick up some <laughs> prescription drugs. So I'll adjust Triggered the same the person. Aspirin. Guess they didn't need them anymore. Um, go back to the personnel. Personal. There was a second thingy. Nothing personnel, kid. Ugh. Oh, yes. Nearson, Leonard, you're both first shift on the door, so read carefully. Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't read the instructions properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure everything stays secure, and none of us decide to head off on their own with their own stuff, with our stuff. When you're on shift, take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be let in or out. That means just us, no one else. No matter how much anyone begs and no matter what sob story they try and pull, I was with a group before and we got soft and now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. Mm. Well, a good thing I found a friend in Axel then. Mm. I bet I'm going to come up against one of those doors. It's going to take two. Good to know. Oh, <laughs> looks like he was cocking back to hit ready me. ready to fight. Mm. Can, I, can we go through here? Yes. Axel, sir, there we go. Oh, is this where you came from? Is this where I came from? Oh, goodness. Ugh. No. I came from over there. You sure? Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm positive. I don't know why is the guy give me the stink eye. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can I just hit the button? Assholes. You see, just like the just like the game told me. At the same mm -hmm. time. Oh, teamwork. Uh, mm -hmm. Making the dream work. Oh, nice. I'm glad it just does it. Oops, it, didn't. it does it. <laughs> oh, God. No, it does. Okay, good. Uh, I'm, so I'm remembering that. Oh. Oh, no. Axel. Save Axel. No. Uh oh. I'm going to hit him. Ha! Huh. Oh, I have a weapon. Well, this, oh, oh Jesus, my Jesus, Axel. We uh -oh. could have just knocked him out. Just let him sleep it off like Maintenance Jack. Uh-oh. That's probably bulletproof, right? Ugh, good grief, Axel. You teamed up with the wrong guy. And now you you're think like he's dead, guilty huh? by association. Yeah, I... Uh-oh. Oh. oh, boy. <gasps> you killed that guy because he was going to kill me. You saved my life. 
Mm, we're not friends. How long has she had this thing on her face? It's her flashlight. Oh. Uh oh. He's standing in a puddle of something. Something I'm sorry. gross. Oh no. I hope there's no more two man switches. Don't touch it. Oh. <gasps> oh, poor Axel. Oh no. Oh. I wouldn't probably be continuing my my stay in this room. Um Did I come from this way? Mm -hmm. Then I will be going Not this that way. way. <laughs> Gotta keep moving. Pretend I didn't just witness that horror. Okay. Transit system, that's where I'm supposed to be going, right? Mm-hmm. There's arrows or something. Hello? You're flashing. It looks so inviting. Hey, you need to be on it. I feel like maybe you're supposed to be hiding or something. I ain't nowhere to hide. I'm not but supposed to hide. I'm sure the game will tell events. me I need to hide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can hear them. Are you flashing? Oh, it's a floor light. This is something. Call the transit. Yes. Taxi! Oh God, you're going to get on a train? Mm-hmm. As long as I'm alone on the train, I'm safe. Excuse me? I don't know where to look. I hate the, the pounding. Is that our, our little heart? Is the train here yet? <sighs> um... Am I in danger? I don't know. The music makes it seem like I'm in danger. I'll just stay, oh, just stay crouched. Everything looks like a, a thing. Yeah, There's the train the is here. It. Okay, be chill. Don't stand right in front of the door in case someone needs to get off first. Oh, right, etiquette. Okay. Great. Made it, easy. Oh, shit! It was okay. behind me. You what? didn't see that? Yeah, there was, this, this, it, was, it was just coming. It was just just a coming. Uh -uh. Floor vents can signature panels. Thank Great. you, Xbox. I'd oh. love to I'd love to have tips. Ripley is a... Oh. You know, <laughs> I bet when you play this on the Xbox One, those loading screens were long enough to actually read those tips. But the Series X, God bless it, has such short loading screens, you never get mm. to read the tips. Um, okay, so. Okay, the floaters things are in up. your game are messing with the floaters in my real life. <laughs> it's all aliens. Um, things are heating up. Quite literally, I'm starting to sweat. Oh. Now I can hide. So, uh, let me know. Access the rewire. I don't know what that means. Seedson. Use rewire to toggle systems on and off in your surrounding area. System share limited power supply. Well, that's a bad system. Switching systems off will provide the power switch others on. Stay them up. Oh, it's a puzzle. I'm up on the right hand screen with RS to position of local systems, access new areas, create diversions, and experiment with system. Okay. Oh my. Strategy. Strategy. Um, um, speaker system. Unstable system. Turn that one on. Oh, uh, okay. Turn on the speaker system? I don't want to do that. I don't, why Why would I want an unstable system to be powered on? Did I just turn the whole thing off? No, it's mm. on. Okay. Switch room. Hold up. Hold up. There's another room? No, not yet. Just the transit station. Okay. Oh, mm. good. Okay. Now check out these lockers. There's some lockers that you can open, I guess. I think they're all hiding lockers. Yeah. Oh. Lockers are for hiding. Call transit. Mm. Where am I? I don't know. Well, mm -hmm. now we're getting real spooky. Mm -hmm. Next time we're going to try and figure out what to do. And then, do oh, find an elevator to seek some communications. All right. Yep. We're going to figure out how to do that. So come back next time and maybe I'll figure it out. Maybe Yay. I won't. That's the fun. Mm -hmm. See ya. Bye.
Bye.